Hello everybody, my name is Simone Isaac Bear from Barry's Talent Slap. Today we're doing 15. 15 is a very interesting number because 15 is a magic square constant, 15 is a semi-prime, 15 is a triangle number, and what's even cooler that 15 and 27 are, are the only two numbers to share this one unique property. Want me to tell you what magic square constant yada yada means? Well, 15 being a semi-prime me, means that it is the product of two primes, just like 14, which I mentioned before. Number two, it being a magic square constant means that if you arrange the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in any order over here, so let's say 8, 6, uh, 3, and then 7, 2, 9, and then what are the numbers I haven't used? One, four, five. Then, if you add up this diagonal, a plus two is 10, plus five is 15. If you add up each of the rows, a plus six plus three is 15. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, oh, uh, whatever, it's fine. 15 is a magic square constant because there are some specific magic squares where Every row, column, and diagonal of a 3x3 three three square filled with the numbers 1 through 9 add up to 15. Okay, what does triangular mean? Well, it means that if we take 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 and arrange them in this triangle-like formation, the amount of circles here is 15. And the final thing, what does it share in common with 27? Well, 15 is composed of the numbers 1 and 5. If you add up all the numbers from 1 to 5, you get 15. Only 27 also shares this property. No other number to this day has been discovered that shares this. So I'll also celebrate when we get to 27, but enough about the yada yada mata mata. Let's start the problem. We have the integral of y over the square root of 4 minus y squared dy. This is another use of. I was just trying to make it less boring by talking about all these facts. So u is equal to 4 minus y squared. And so that's uh, dx equal to du over minus 2y. Uh, go check out our video uh, on problem number five if you want to learn how that works. So this is the integral of y over the square root of u times du over minus 2y. Wait, why did I write dx over here? And so these cancel out. We get minus 1 half u du. Oh, this is u to the minus one half, by the way, because we're bringing it up, so it's negative, and then it's a square root, so it's one half. And then we use our reverse power rule, so this becomes minus one half times u to the one half over one half, because one half is minus one half plus one. Okay, and that's plus c. So, these two cancel out, we're left with minus u to the one half, or minus root u plus c. So, on summing, we get minus root 4 minus y squared plus c. That's it. Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.